It's play in the shed day again. Well, I've had this little rotary table for my mill for quite a while, but I haven't really used it much. So I've now got a little three jaw chuck, but I've got to fit it to the table somehow. So today's challenge is to make an adapter plate so that I can fit the chuck to that little rotary table. And I'm going to use this 6mm steel. But before that, I need something to center everything up. So I've got this bit of steel rod and I've turned down one end that fits into the table and the other end that fits into the chuck. So I'll just clean it up on the lathe and that'll be ready to use to center the chuck with the table on the rotary table. So the little centering boss fits into the rotary table and then the chuck slides onto that which will keep everything centered. The chuck and the rotary table are 100mm and this 6mm steel is also 100mm so I'll cut out a couple of 100 by 100 pieces of plate and that'll be the basis for my adapter. So one of these plates will be mounted to the chuck and the other plate will be mounted to the rotary table and then I'll screw both plates together. I'm just going to tack weld these plates together so that um, when I drill the holes they'll be perfectly aligned. I'm finishing off the hole for the centre of the plate with a 22mm drill and it really doesn't like it but I persist and finally get the job done. The chuck has a 22mm hole and so my little adapter of 22mm fits into the plate perfectly. There are three mounting holes in the chuck and to make sure I get the holes in the right place I've just drawn a triangle with the points where the holes should be. So to be sure to be sure I'm just sticking it down and then I'll centre punch those holes. Now all the holes I need have been drilled, I can now part those two plates. So I'm just cutting off those tack welds. This is the plate that will go on the chuck and I need to countersink these three holes because 
the bolts need to be flush. Okay, so the first plate's done, and that can be bolted onto the chuck. Before I attach the, the second plate um, to the rotary table, I just want to tap some 6mm threads into this plate. Because this will be the bottom plate, that top plate, plate will have four bolts that will screw into these holes and join the two plates together. With the bottom plate screwed on nice and tight, I can now put the adapter back in to make sure that everything's still centered. And then I can put the three, the four bolts, one on each corner, to attach the chuck to the rotary table. And that'll be it, hopefully. There are times when I'll want the rotary table centered with the mill quill. So I'm making a little tool here that makes it easy to center up the rotary table with the mill quill. What I'm going to do is turn down a bit of stainless steel. One piece will have a post at each end and I'm making the posts different sizes so that um, it's easy to tell which is which. I'm turning down the larger post to 12 mil because that's the most common end mill that I use. And the other piece just has a hole in it. And yes, fits beautifully. No slop. One piece goes in the three jaw chuck and the other piece goes in the, in the mill quill. And so it's a simple matter of just aligning them up little by little until it slides in perfectly. And just to double check, I'm locking the cross slide in place. And I'll just move the table so that the tab just touches and I'll turn it round and round and round to make sure that everything is still nice and circular. And to test it out, I've just got a piece of scrap here and I'm going to put in six little divots on the side. This is a really good process for, for making thumb screws. It's better than just plain knurling and it looks good too. I'm just using a 10mm end mill. So for six divots I just turn the rotary table 60 degrees at a time.
Well, there we go. That worked fine. Very pretty. Another use for this setup would be to make a custom bolt. And because this particular bolt won't see a huge amount of stress, I'm using a bit of all thread to start with. And then I'm going to weld a bit of stainless on the end of it. So I'm just drilling a hole that the all thread will slide into and then I'll weld it together. I'm cutting a nice generous chamfer so that it'll get a lot of weld in there. I'm just facing off that weld so it's nice and clean. And you see I've reoriented the rotary table so that the handle's on the right hand side. And even though I don't need to, I'm just checking the centering again. Because for this process, I don't need the thing to be centered. I'm side milling the stainless steel to make the bolt head faces. And I've got to do it a little bit at a time. I can't do the cut completely because I want to end up with just an 11 mil bolt head. And once I've got that, I'm just going back to the lathe to clean it up and put some little chamfers on it so that it's nice and smooth. And there's the bolt done. And it fits the 11 mil socket quite happily. Well, I think I can call that adapter plate a success.